Hello and good morning everybody. Today is Thursday, July 8th, 2021 and welcome to our daily devotional time. I'm Ali Cobb, Director of Children's Youth and Family Ministries at St. John's United Methodist Church and I will be filling in for Jim Hoffman again today um, and also Friday and Saturday while he is away. Um, welcome to our time together this morning. I'm working from home today. I had an appointment this morning, so it was easier just to work from home. And I'm currently surrounded by golden retrievers, so I could think of a whole lot worse places to be right now. So if you see one of them pop up at one point, that might be why the puppies like to be near. And I enjoy them being near, so they're good work buddies. <laughs> Um, our devotion this morning comes from the upper room. Oh, yep, there's one. That's Sage. Sage, do you want to say hi to everybody? Sagey. Sage, do you want to say hi? No. <laughs> um, and our upper room devotional today comes from, oh, here they all come because they can hear my voice. Um, so today I'm getting distracted by puppies, um, myself. So our scripture this morning comes from Colossians. So if anybody has their Bible with them and wants to follow along, they can do so. We'll be in the book of Colossians and, um, Sherman, no, sir, Sherman. I think that the dogs are worse than the kids sometimes. <laughs> he can hear me talking. So now he wants to talk too. So yes, um, if you are joining us just now, please leave a comment if you can, um, so that we know that you're here. And if you can comment later on, then that would also be good as well. Um, if you're just now joining us, I'm working from home and my puppies are excited to hear me talking because I've been a little quiet. So now they're also making a little bit of noise, but they are now sitting back down. <laughs> So we'll be in the book of Colossians this morning. It is chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. And the title of our um, devotion today is Beyond Reluctancy. Good morning to the Tennels and Shirley and Chris and Barb and Susan. Hi, Jack. Hi, Linda. It's always good to see friendly faces. So our scripture, um, I'll be reading from the Common English Bible, um, Colossians 2, verses 1 through 7. I wanted you to know how much I struggled for you. For those in Laodicea and all who know me personally, my goal is that their hearts would be encouraged and united together in love so that they might have all the riches of assurance that come with understanding, so that they might have the knowledge of the secret plan of God, namely Christ. All the treasures of wisdom and knowledge are hidden in him. I'm telling you this so that no one deceives you with the convincing arguments. Because even though I am absent physically, I'm with you in spirit. I'm happy to see the, dis the discipline and stability of your faith in Christ. So live in Christ Jesus the Lord in the same way you have received him. Be rooted and built up in him. Be established in faith and overflow with the thanksgiving, just as you are taught. And our thought for the day is, when I feel reluctant, God is still at work in me. And our devotion this morning comes from Douglas Ruffle of Tennessee. And our prayer focus is going to be those going away to summer camp. His devotion this morning is, When I was a freshman in high school, my dad lost his job. He had survived a stroke, but his employer thought that he wasn't up to the task anymore. We were going through hard times as my parents' savings account kept dwindling the longer my father was out of work. My church knew our situation and encouraged me to go to summer camp, offering to pay two-thirds of the cost. But I was a city guy, not, not enamored with spending a week in the woods. Besides, I wasn't interested in reading the Bible and other activities associated with church. But my church and my parents finally convinced me to give camp a try. When I arrived at camp, my counselor introduced me to several other guys, and immediately we started getting to know, a, to know one another. I didn't take but a few hours for my reluctancy to be turned into something significant. I learned about Christian community and the importance of having my life built around Jesus. He was just hiking. We had fun hiking, swimming, and singing. 
Camp was a turning point in my life. I am grateful for a church who cared for me and for a ministry that provided a safe and fun experience where the love of God and the and the God of love could take root in my heart. So as I was thinking about our devotion today and church, there are lots of opportunities. Um, there's opportunities for children to participate in Sunday school and HBJ and VBS and different children's events in between. Um, and for our youth, there's also opportunities for them to participate in youth time together and cooking meals for neighbor to neighbor. But as adults, we also have opportunities. Those aren't just for children. We have opportunities to attend worship on Sunday morning and participate in fellowship afterwards. Um, at St. John's, we have a very lively um, Bible study for different ages and genders and times of day and in the evening. Um, we have quilting and bells and choir. Um, we even have dinners for eight um, that I think hopefully will be coming back maybe in the fall. Um, but it'll be, it's always nice that we have such um, an active faith community and it's not just reserved for children going away to summer camp, it's also for us adults as well. Um, oftentimes we can be more active when we're younger and then as like we get a little bit older into high school we kind of drop off. In college we really see people kind of drop off and stop attending and then they come back a lot of times which we really love to see. And it's nice to have that faith community, um, not just to grow your relationship in Christ but also to grow in relationships with others. Um, as I had kind of mentioned yesterday, God doesn't say that there will never be bad times, but that he will be there with us through those hard times, through those storms, and through those ups and downs. And having that rooted faith community and those rooted relationships with one another is part of that love that God has for us. God can't physically be here with us, but he can send others to physically be here with us and hold our hands through a hard time and be a listening ear and help us in prayer, um, set up a meal train for us. There's so many different opportunities. Um, a lot of times those opportunities do start in childhood and then we kind of go back to them as we are getting older and having children of our own. But having those experiences um, is so important for our children. And it's also important for adults. Everybody needs their soul nourished in a rooted faith community. Um, it's not just reserved for the little, it's reserved for the little at heart as well, so to speak. So as we are kind of coming out of this COVID pandemic fog, I would say this kind of year and a half of really hard trying to keep connections. And we've done a very good job, I think, at St. John's of staying connected with one another as best as we can and know how. But it will be nice to kind of get back to the um, normal and everything of routines and businesses and everything of getting to see one another and have those connections because it is so important. You want to be able to share in the joys and the struggles um, with God and with your faith community of friends that you find at church and other places. So as we begin to see more studies come back at St. John's and more activities and everything, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody, um, not just virtually, but also in person as well. It's nice to see everybody and catch up. It's been lovely being able to chat with everybody via Zoom, but it is harder to talk um, online to people. We've noticed even in our staff meetings when they were online via Zoom, they were a lot shorter. When they're in person, they tend to go longer because you chat a little bit longer and everything and have those connections with everybody. So as we go forth today um, and go forth um, into the fall when lots of fun activities are going to be showing up at St. John's, I hope I get to see all of you, not just on Sunday mornings, but also throughout the week as well. Let us close in prayer. Dear God, help us in finding rootedness and following your son, Jesus Christ. Help us find those connections with others that will help deepen our roots with you. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, I hope everybody has a good rest of their Thursday. It was great getting to see you online for a little bit today. And I will be back here um, again tomorrow for our Friday devotion together. Have a great rest of your Thursday. Take such good care.